I'm getting ready to make the blue dress tutorial, so I want to show you some of the material I found to make the dress, and some surprise goodies I got at the thrift shop. This is the blue village dress from the animated movie Beauty and the Beast. I always make one first before I can make the tutorial. I will be making the live action version as well. That blue dress has a lot more details. She has a couple of bags on her apron, an underskirt, and pantaloons. It's a real hunt to get all the materials needed to make her blue dresses. So let's get started and I'll show you what I got. For this blue dress, I used a t-shirt that I got from the thrift shop and I cut it up. See? For her live action dress, it's a different blue color. So I found this t-shirt. I like this jersey knit fabric because the edges don't fray and it stretches. It makes a better bodice and you don't have to sew in darts to make it fit. I did, however, buy brand new material from the fabric store. This is broadcloth. I got half a meter, which cost $2.50. I prefer jersey knit, but I couldn't find it in this color. This shade of blue is closer to the blue of the animated dress. So I'm going to make one in this color. If you need fabric, there are cheaper alternatives like this blue pillowcase. I only paid 90 cents with my discount. There's about half a meter of fabric here. I think this color could work for the blue dress. I'll see. But it costs less than half of the fabric from the fabric store. I only buy pillowcases if they're in really good condition and I always wash them before I use them. Here's another pillowcase, 99 cents. This is for the bag that's on her apron. I just need a very small piece, just these few stripes here. This is perfect for tea towels for a dollhouse, and you can make a lot of tea towels with this. Here's another pillowcase. I'll use this for her underskirt. Here's another striped pillowcase. A pinstripe shirt would be better, but it'll cost more. So if you have an old pinstripe shirt laying around, put it to good use. This plain white cotton pillowcase is great for so many things, like her apron and her blouse. There's always a use for white fabric. Here's another pillowcase. For dolls and dollhouses, you need small prints, like patterns that are very close together, and they're really hard to find. This could be used for dollhouse curtains, chair covers, doll clothes, you know, lots of things. Next, I got three items here. That 3X means there's three items for this, this price. It's $3.99, but I paid less than that. These are decorative pillowcases. Look how beautiful. I have a great idea for them. Let me show you. It's a teddy bear quilt. It's the perfect size for teddy bears and dolls. Isn't this awesome? And that's the white pillowcase I got. That could easily be stuffed and turned into a pillow. Okay, I got more stuff to show you. I always find a few awesome dolls. This bag was $2.99, but I paid $2.10 for two dolls. Let's open it up. What was that? Oh, wow. What's this mystery fluff? Ooh. Oh my gosh, this doll is not made by Mattel. I can tell by the waist, it's at an angle. This hair is so matted, oh my gosh, it's not worth fixing. They do this a lot. They put a garbage doll in with a good doll just to get rid of it. Ugh. This is the doll I want. This is Esmeralda from the Disney movie, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. She's in really good condition. Demi Moore does her voice, and she even looks like Demi Moore. They don't make her anymore, and she's really hard to find. I just have to make her some clothes, and she'll look awesome. Next, this bag is $3.99. I paid $2.80. And I only wanted this one Bratz doll because of her bare feet. Let's get this open. Ooh, what's this? Looks like it belongs to a prince. If you know which doll it belongs to, let me know. 
And here's a Barbie they threw in just to get rid of it. There's so many blonde Barbies. Look at the painted pink legs. It's a ballet Barbie. I just use these to practice cutting hair. This is the doll I want. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I think she's a slumber party, Bratz. She has a cute satin nightie. Great condition. Wow, her hair is silky soft. I think this hair is nylon. Most Bratz hair is made of saran, so this is really unusual. Nylon is so much softer and shinier than saran. Check out the bare feet. How awesome is this? I have lots of shoes, but no bare feet. Wow, I am so glad I found this. I got some great stuff at the thrift shop. Which one do you think was the best thrift shop find? The teddy bear quilt? The Esmeralda doll? Or the bare feet Bratz doll? Post your answer in the comment section or click on the i-card and take our poll. I find a lot of treasures at the thrift shop. If you want to see more thrift shop haul videos, click like. I think I have everything I need to make her live action blue village dress. I better get sewing. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. If you like this video, click like. Check out these videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.